Paris stopped, gasped, and pointed. With a mighty roar, Concorde 001 swooped low over the city, heading for Le Bourget and the Paris Air Show. What a sight the Anglo-French speedbird made as, for the first time, she prepared to be admired publicly by all the world's top-flying people, for this is where they come. The greats like André Tourcard, Concorde test pilot, and the people behind the scenes of both civil and military air strength. There's plenty to satisfy all interests. The Buccaneer, flown by both the RAF and the Royal Navy, is a fighting plane to be reckoned with that packs a mighty punch. Close by, and also a point of interest for the aviation experts, was one of the Soviet Union's latest aircraft. A chance for the West to see what's new on the other side of the Iron Curtain. Inside a mock-up of the European Airbus, French and German ministers look to the future of the 250-passenger aircraft in which Britain has yet to decide participation. But very much on its own was America in its manned lunar space efforts. Three astronauts put in an appearance together with an Apollo capsule. McDivitt, Scott and Schweikert with their wives were very much a centre of attraction in the US pavilion. The capsule was a reminder that this air show was taking place in the space age.